So today we're doing things a little bit differently. Uh, we have a little bit nicer of a setup here. As you can see, we are not at Jeff's house right now. We are at my place. I have set up a nicer little area here uh, to display something very special today. So it won't be an actual box opening. Um, I did get something really neat. So on one of my many trips to Value Village, which is Sabres in the US, I found a bunch of Pokemon cards. So basically this is like a blind bag. So I have no idea what's inside of it. I'm gonna open it up with you guys and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna use this uh, nice little cutter right here. Let me just tear it open. Actually, never mind the cutter. And let's get into it. And for those of you who wanted to know, this was four bucks, four bucks Canadian. So that's like, you know, a buck US, you know? So <laughs> not very much. And uh, there's quite a few cards in here. So we'll go through them together. So uh, I don't know what any of these are from which set. So like I said, I haven't played Pokemon since, uh, man, I would say Neo Destiny, which was like 2001 or two. So it's been a really long time. I know all the characters, I'm a big fan of the game and I watch the show time to time, um, but basically not much about the cards. So I won't be able to say what set it's from. But yeah, so for, without uh, th further ado, let's let's just get right into it. Like I said, no Jeff today, just me, so it'll just be me talking to myself. So we got Shift Tree, we got Mean Fu, we got a Reverse Hollow Spinda, that's kind of cool. Oh, Halucha. Okay, so Halucha is a rare, so we got one rare so far. So I'll, I'll separate the cards based on what they are. Reverse Hollow Commons, Commons and such. So we got Chespin, Scatterbug, Bronzor. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Oh man, this Tentacruel looks great. Is that a rare? No, that's an uncommon reverse hollow. You can see, if you guys can see really closely in the back, it's kind of hard. Oh, there you go. You can see inside of its eye, it actually has like the energies inside of it. That is really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. That's oh, Starmie. That's another reverse hollow. Very cool. And this pack's pretty cool so far. Got a, I've never been able to say this one properly, but I think it's Behem. So we got a Behem, that's a Reverse Hollow as well, Uncommon. Uh, we've got an Ursaring, that one's really beat up if you guys can see. We've got a Panseer and a Marowak Hollow, and it's a rare right there. Got a Parasect, Reverse Hollow, Quilava, Cherim. Oh, that Starmie's pretty cool. I think I might have played this as a kid. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. A Pinsir, one of my favorites. So Jeff and I are actually playing the beta of Pokemon Gold, and uh, I believe he has an evolution. And in the uh, the patch version, they actually call him Pluck Ross, and he looks like something out of like Neon Genesis Evangelion. So if you guys have a chance, just Google Pluck Ross Gold and Silver Space World. It's really cool looking. So I don't know. I, I'm really having a great time with it. Uh, if you guys haven't tried it, you know, take a look at some YouTubers or check it out. It's pretty cool. So we got a Ursa Ring. Oh, this is a really cool Magneton. I love this. We got Hippopotas, looking pretty fierce right there. We got Cubone sitting alone by himself. Elgym. Hey, a reverse hollow Cacnea. That's kind of neat, eh? Okay, Conkeldur. So not a big fan of Conkeldur when he first came out. Uh, is that a rare, actually? Yeah, that's a rare. Uh, when he first came out, but he just, in the meta, in the uh, competitive meta game, I think it was in Gen 5, he was pretty impressive back when I played. We got Sphiel, and he's kind of beat up as well. Stunky, beat up. That's a neat Murkrow. Loving that. Oh, Mr. Mime. There you go. This one's for you, Dan. That's your boy right there. Is that the rare? Yeah, that's a rare. Uh, we got Drillbur, Sawaddle, the Gen 5 version. I think that's Gen 5. Gen 5 or Gen 6 version of Caterpie. Uh, a rare Halucha that is not hollow. That is a weird looking Vulpix. Is that even like accurate proportions? Weird. Misty's Goldeen, nice. I actually had a Misty's um, Gold Duck recently that I that I sold. I, I love it. It was very cool looking. Dratini, very cool. And I love that clay effect. Of uh, I've always said the clay effect's one of my favorites. We've got Ambipom, that's a rare, very cool um, uh, evolution for Apom. Uh, Space World, uh, just talking about that game once again. Uh, Apom looks completely different. If you guys haven't seen the game, you got to check out all the cool variations. There's a lot of really cool, different looking stuff. Wow, a Regigigas. Wow. He's got like 
four different types you have to use for his move. Crush Grip. If the defending Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack's base damage is 40 instead of 120. Okay, that's kind of crazy. And is it? Yeah, it's obviously a rare. Interesting. Stunfisk. I'm not even going to check if that's a rare because I know it's not. We've got Spupa, Breaksin, Sandslash, Ursaring. Hey, you know what would be pretty cool if we had like a Charizard or Blastoise or something from the original set in here? That'd be pretty cool. So we got Geodude, Rog and Rolla. Oh, nice. An original Machop. Is that actually original? Uh, I think so. I think that is from the original set, not from the evolution set. Clefairy, Vanillite. Ooh, cool. Vivillion. A hollow pavilion. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin of head, search your deck for a basic energy card, attach it to one of your Pokemon, shuffle your deck afterwards. Sleep powder, your active Pokemon is now asleep. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's pretty cool. Froki, Pepla, Chespin. Another Chespin. <laughs> Ruffle it. Nice. So I've seen this card a bunch of times. I don't know why, but uh, I bought a, a bunch of Pokemon cards from a garage sale a couple years ago. And I remember specifically seeing, like, too many copies of this guy and of this guy. So, oh, that is a really cool Manetric. Wow, very nice. Oh, cool. Love it. Star Raptor. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the recent video with Jeff and I for the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, sorry about that, Pokemon Darkness Ablaze box opening, uh, we pulled the Star Raptor and we were pretty excited about that. Uh, and I later found out it actually really wasn't that great. But, hey, we, uh, we didn't know much about it going into it, but... Uh, we pulled a Star Raptor, and we also pulled a uh, Talonflame. Two cards of which we were really excited about. Rattata, Execute. Nice, very cool. Oh, man, that tentacle is neat. Poison Sing, Defending Pokemon is not poisoned. Nice. Ah, uh, Gibble. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I named this channel after uh, our favorite Pokemon. Well, Jeff's favorite Pokemon is actually uh, uh, Tyranitar, Mines, Scizor, and Garchomp. So, Garchomp, Cardchomp. There you go. Now, uh... Now the mystery is solved, if any of you ever wanted to know why. There we go, so we got uh, Gibble. Weasel. I liked Weasel when he came out in, in the fourth gen. It's pretty cool. Reap, Tynamo, Drifloon, Cheruby, Goldeen. Nice. That's kind of cool. Durant. Kevin Durant. Man, I'm glad they made him into a Pokemon card. P-Dove. Piplup. Another Piplup. Cyndaquil. Oh, yeah, baby. That is so cool. So... Ta okay, so you guys let me know. I'm pretty sure this is right, but if this doesn't actually have an energy cost associated to it, does that mean that he can just attack without an energy on it? That seems pretty good to me. So, I don't know. That's that's really cool. It's one of the first cards I've seen that has had that. Fracture, really cool. He's uh, evolution to... I gotta remember this. It was Axiom. Yeah. Go Goat. Spewpa. Noibat, that one's for you, Dan. Mask Rain, is this a rare? No. Every time I see a Mask Rain, it's always rare for some reason. I don't really know why. Galvantula, I thought that would have been a rare. Oh, now this is a cool looking pincer, if you guys can see this. Oh man, this, well, this kind of reminds me of the old school um, Neo Destiny and Neo Genesis um, cards. I just, I like it when they have them really clean and the, back, the background's really simple. It just looks really nice. So that's a really neat card. Same with this Tauros, it looks really nice. I, <clears throat> I feel like as the cards got like more and more uh, new, the art started to get a little bit more experimental and that's fine and all, but like exactly like this, like Loudred, for example. Um, you know, it's cool, but it's just, it's not my favorite thing. Like this Raikou's a little bit more my my taste, I would say. And it's pretty cool. So that's a rare, wow, Shining Body. If this Pokemon has any electric energy attached to it, uh, any damage done to this Pokemon uh, by attacks reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow. Oh, cool. There you go. I told you. Zorua everywhere. And there's the Axew. Remoraid. Pikachu. There we go. The mascot. Hoot hoot. <laughs> See, this is the kind of art I'm not really like too into. We got another Hippopotas. Uh, I believe we... No, that was the shiny uh, Goldene over there. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Who needs a fire when you have a Cyndaquil, right? <laughs> That's great. There we go, another one of these guys. I love the clay look. It's just so cool. Gliger. Oh man, a very, very happy Teddy Ursa. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Okay, a little bit more proportionate uh, Vulpix here. This looks pretty normal to me. Riolu, very cool. Panpour. Oh, for alligator. 
That's pretty sweet. What is this from? What set? I don't even know what set this is. If anybody can tell me what set this is from, um, that'd be pretty nice. And it seems to be in all right condition. It's not great, but it's, uh, it's okay. Relicanth. If you guys ever played uh, Pokemon um, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, getting the Relicanth to get the Regis, I think was one of the coolest hidden secrets. Well, I mean, I don't know how hidden it was, but it was one of the coolest secrets for me as a kid. I was like, I don't know, 12 or 13. And I remember just hunting down a Relicanth. And I, I remember what I called it, 76 Ultra, because it took 76 Ultra Balls to try to catch it. And uh, I used it to, to go and get uh, the other Regis. And oh man, it was, it was, a, good, it was a good time, it was good times. Oh, cool, unknown. That's awesome. I mean, obviously he's got to have hidden power. What other would he have, right? That's basically his only move. Is that a hollow? Is that a rare Cresselia? Yeah, it is. Cool. My way. If there's any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Whoa. That's pretty neat. So Midlight Moon... Man, I can't read. Moonlight Gain. Heal 20 damage on this Pokemon. All right. Staraptor. So there we go. We got a hollow Staraptor. Oh, Aggron. Nice. Very cool. I always liked Aggron. It's just in the games, he was a little bit too squishy in terms of his weaknesses. And... Yeah, I mean, I wish I could have run him because, like, Steel is probably my favorite type. Steel and Electric. Um, Steel's a great type, man. Like, especially playing uh, the Space World uh, patch demo. Oh, my God. It, like, we just got Scizor, and he evolves by level in this game, and he's just a beast. So, he's just... Oh, I love Scizor. All right, Chespin, Noibat, Piplup. And we've got Pansage. He's looking pretty happy. Oh, cool. This, I remember. Okay, this was around the time I was playing. So, I don't know if this was after Neo Destiny or... No, it was before. It had to be before because that was the Rocket team. So, that's pretty good, actually. Whoa. It's not in the greatest condition. You guys can see a little bit of a aberration up the top there. But, I mean, for a really old card, this is really nice. I mean, why are people just giving away these nice cards? It's crazy. For, like, three bucks. It's insane. Got him a chop. And Teddy Ursa, and what's the last two cards? We got Bulbasaur, so that's a nice throwback right there. Last card, start you. Yeah, it would have been cool if it was a, a Charizard from base set. I would have loved that. So that's not bad. As I figured, we'd probably have a lot of commons. I expected it to just be all commons. Um, but I bought the pack just basically to make some more content. Um, I'm thinking about buying another box um, pretty soon. Um, I'm just thinking of new ways for content for you guys that you'd enjoy because honestly I'm a big fan of Pokemon series and I really just kind of want to talk to you guys more about it and share my love and Jeff's love about the game uh, We are actually truly huge fans of the series um, So these are the rares and the uh, the hollows and the non hollows that we got uh, Out of these I really like the main etric. It's very cool looking and the guy is too bad that it was like all messed up I have a funny story, actually. So when I was in elementary school, um, I remember someone threw out all of their Pokemon cards into one of the men's, wa the boys' washrooms, I shouldn't say men's, into the one of the boys' washrooms. I believe this is in like grade five or six. And there was like a Lugia and like all this stuff. And one of my friends went out and fished out all the cards. And I remember he took them and he like laid them out. And uh, basically he gave, a few days later, I was like, you know, nine or 10 years old or whatever. And he gave me a Lugia and it, it, me and Jeff collectively call it toilet Lugia. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to try to see if I actually have it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness something that is like, I don't know, 20, 20 years old. And uh, this is just, it's incredible. I still have this. So here it is, the exact Lugia I was telling you about. So this was in the, the boys washroom uh, and revived from that very incident and i mean it's pretty straight it's pretty good looking for something that was thrown into a washroom uh sink or toilet i can't remember what you told me but uh let's let's take a look at this so this is arrow wing you may flip a coin if heads this attack does 80 damage if tails it does nothing not great <laughs> honestly but uh yeah this was really cool and i have one more cool card to show you guys i'm gonna pause and you can check it out it was actually a scyther i found on the ground I was out for a walk with my mom when I was like seven or eight. I don't remember. And I found a Scyther. And this one looks a little bit more beat up. And uh, I just want to share that with you guys. One sec. All right. So I was able to locate it. 
Uh, it's in better shape than I actually remembered it being. Uh, I thought it was like super curved and stuff like that. Um, but here it is. So this is the uh, the Ditch Scyther. Just walking around and back then it was just in like the... It was so totally warped, as you guys can definitely tell. Uh, so yeah, this is from the Jungle set. And Scyther was one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day. Obviously, and then he evolved into the Scissor, so I was pretty happy about that. But uh, as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. But it's just, it's one of those mementos. So... If you guys have any really cool stories about cards that you have found or ones that you've just had forever and there's an interesting story about, definitely tell me because like this is what it's all about. We're just we're sharing things here and uh, I can't believe I still have these two cards. And uh, if I have anything else that comes to mind, I'll definitely share it with you guys. But um, thanks for checking this out. It was just a really quick kind of thing. I found these cards and I thought it'd be really fun and, you know, add some to the collection. And uh, yeah, so before we go, I'm just going to show you guys a... A quick little view here of the games that I've got so I'm a big fan and uh, I just need like two more I just need a uh, ruby and sapphire all in box um, diamond and pearl and platinum and all those other ones you can find pretty easily but uh, these are these are really cool and what I really like is this crystal right here it's actually sealed so I remember finding this one day with Jeff and I was like man I hope we could find a, a red sealed boxed uh, version and instead, we found a crystal that was completely brand new for like $20. That was pretty cool. Anyways, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully in the next one, you'll see Jeff. He might be back. Maybe we'll start with um, another Darkness Ablaze uh, box. Or we'll have something new and fresh. But uh, definitely thanks for checking us out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It definitely uh, helps us out. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great night. Or day, whatever it is. See ya.